Pisces. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for January 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Anything else do leave behind as that may resonate with someone else that is watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for watching. There is a subscribe button down here. Very much appreciated. And um, also, I want you to all meet Jerry. I love giraffes. I got Jerry for Christmas. And um, I say, spirit animal for giraffe is all about seeing bigger opportunities, taking everything in your stride, um, seeing the bigger picture. And um, that is Jerry. He's going to be sitting here with the readings. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love giraffes. Right. Pisces, January 2023. Wow, all uprights. Now we do have reversals included here. Um, usually, oh, I haven't done underneath. And that's upright. That's the one we wanted reversed though. Got the deceiver overall. So could be dealing with a Capricorn. Being aware of some sort of negative energy, toxic energy or something unhealthy here. Um, and being aware of that. Something that you feel like you are stuck and bound to at present. But holy moly, everything is upright here. Amazing. Starting with your present energies, two of wands, focused on where you're heading here, crossed with the empress, also upright, um, but love that. To, um, Pisces is very intuitive, very aware of feelings here, um, of what's going on around you usually, and I feel like this is actually following your heart, following your gut instinct, and being focused on where you're heading. But also being aware there may be something or someone that is trying to prevent you here. Especially with your strength theory as well, the Hierophant, it is upright, could be dealing with a Taurus. Peer pressure being put on you to do something in their way that's not working for you. It comes back to this negative energy here. You want to go in this direction and they're trying to say, no, you can't do that. You've got to go this way. And um, might be a bit of pressure being put on you here. Focus area, Nine of Cups, okay, emotional love, happiness, it is there for the taking, but um, waiting for that tenth cup, I usually say the final oomph, the final push into that tenth cup. Something or someone, it is this negative energy that may be just holding things up at the moment. Past energies, Princess of Cups, it is upright, could be a younger energy, could be um, an age gap, somebody significant, it may be a child, it may be a pet, but there is an offer of love that was being made here in the past. Whether you're offering love, someone's offering love to you, it was there. I'll do clarify everything shortly. I just about went into the present energies again. Incoming energies, Ten of Swords. Been able to close off some sort of painful chapter and hopefully it's around this deceiver, this negative energy and this outside interference and this peer pressure. But being able to close off some sort of cycle that's been hurtful, painful, um, just plain has not been a nice chapter that you've had to go through there. What you need to know, the sun. Warm, fuzzy feelings, brilliance, happiness, a sense of freedom and release from this energy possibly around here in that Ten of Swords there, but also being able to focus on the happiness, the warmth that that sun energy is coming in with. What you need to um, no, that was what you need to know. How others see you, Princess of Pentacles. Possibly putting an offer out there on the table, whether it's around work, putting an offer in on a home, whether it's around love. Okay, this offer has been made. Confident the two of you do make a good team. Collaboration, working together here. Love that. If it's a legal document, it is about reading the fine print as well. But um, ultimately there is this partnership involved here. Hopes and fears, five of wands drama conflict disagreements that you are having to deal with and it's possibly around this negative energy it's around this peer pressure here 
we will clarify shortly as I said but your final outcome four of wands upright stability commitment you know what stability means to you we you know what commitment means to you it's um, whether it's buying a home as I said getting a job marriage proposal meeting somebody brand new that's um, four of wands is there as your final outcome bringing you stability bringing you commitment and maybe releasing this negative energy overall Pisces love that though everything upright let's clarify everything starting with the deceiver overall what's that doing here please the empress two of pentacles nine of wands i guess key here is being aware of that negative energy which you do have with that empress right there you're able to get things under control a lot quicker once you are aware of what's going on feeling like you're a bit battle scarred a bit battle weary you've had to overcome all these hurdles and obstacles here and it's taken a bit to dodge all the, all of these but you are on solid ground things are starting to come back into balance and alignment even within but you are getting control of the situation and i feel it all comes around that intuition of what this negative energy is coming in with and as i said pisces a very intuitive sign so present energies two of wands three of swords the star ten of swords some sort of heartbreak due to third party um, interference here meddling possibly this hierophant energy and this negative energy overall that has caused a lot of heartbreak but again that ten of swords is there closing that chapter off as you start to focus on your dreams your wishes your hopes where you're heading could be dealing with an Aquarius but knowing that you have to keep moving towards those goals and those dreams and that they don't just land in your lap 99.9% .9 of the time but you clarified with the Empress and again that intuition is kicking into gear knight of swords the chariot king of pentacles love this as long as you're not rushing into things not getting the speed wobbles not getting the speeding ticket with this chariot as it takes off but you are heading to sudden success getting control of finances abundance maybe a job promotion here for some of you new year maybe a whole new job even but there is sudden success and abundance that comes with it quite overwhelmingly so possibly for some of you almost like you're winning the lottery but as long as you don't go rushing into things here keep things moving at a steady pace and that success is yours love this Pisces strength area you get the Hierophant three of cups the magician knight of wands you're manifesting what you want um, here connecting all the dots creating the magic creating some processes and putting them into place to get results that work in your favor not in someone else's favor when it doesn't agree with you ultimately you are celebrating here and i feel it comes with some um digging your heels in some grit some determination to see this journey through because you do have this focus of where you want to be along with that manifestation getting those results and giving you something to celebrate nine of cups focus area pisces four of pentacles ace of wands princess of swords feeling like you're still hanging on to something or someone here it's possibly a grudge of some sort waiting for an apology but you're actually ready to switch things around and to focus on this new beginning and to get things on the road get things moving bring it on you're ready for this ready to take some action and get this journey beginning begun beginning but that ace of wands and that four of pentacles may be some sort of grudge that's holding the process up past energies princess of cups ace of swords four of swords the devil wow i say with that ace of swords one foul swoop and cutting free of those chains that negative energy that toxic energy you have that overall as well needing to do some self-healing looking after number one just looking after you 
here and this whole fresh new start clearing the crap out from the past having a breather getting your thoughts back together here and getting some sort of clear new journey on the road here where it leaves all this negativity behind all the toxicity behind and the unhealthy unwanted energy that has been trying its best to hold you back which is where your incoming energies that ten of swords is closing that chapter off five of cups eight of wands the emperor doesn't mean that you don't go through the whole emotional loss grief sadness that comes with closing some sort of chapter off whether it's been negative or not okay everybody goes through this grief and loss in their own way i say don't let others tell you to hurry up and move on but i feel like knowing there's loving energy around you keeping the communication lines open but also that emperor could be dealing with an aries divine masculine energy you are in control of the situation you are confident you are determined you are very level-headed and logical and um, that comes with some very clear honest open communication as well putting it out there as it really is so the sun what you need to know take these princess of wands justice and the seven of wands very compassionate very giving with your time and with your energy here if somebody does want you to step up and give a um, lending the hand lending hand offer a lending hand I think that is um, then you're first up and you're there to give it persistence not giving up not quitting whether it's on yourself whether it's on someone else whether it's on a situation around you but ultimately that persistence pays off big time with your sweet justice good karma good result and all the happiness you could want with the Sun as well maybe dealing with Libra but Pisces this is a brilliant reading princess of pentacles upright the hanged man the fool knight of cups wow someone's ready to make a decision here and take a leap of faith when it comes to love i feel like because this is how others see you somebody else is coming in with this offer of love and taking that leap of faith it's a decision that is needing an answer one way or the other so nobody is left hanging here waiting for someone else's answer here but this princess of pentacles is an offer being made as well as this knight of cups this offer may well be around love and confident that the two of you do make a good team could still be an existing relationship with an offer of the next level of commitment moving in together marriage proposal but um some of you as well maybe somebody extremely brand new but that offer is being put out there five of wands how other um hopes and fears five of wands eight of pentacles ten of wands six of swords very focused but not wanting to turn your back on everything or everyone ending this burden of feeling like you're doing this journey on your own as some solid plans are put in place to get things moving forward could be to another job another town another country even and maybe to another love um, brand new love chapter here but it is a very hard working and that focus that you've been putting in here to break free of this drama that's been going on around you and releasing that burden and your final outcome said maybe around love marriage proposal moving in together meeting somebody new four of wands stability commitments six of pentacles the lovers the world holy moly could be dealing with a gemini soulmate twin flame here whether it's existing whether it's somebody brand new this is a balanced relationship something or someone maybe even is coming full circle here but equal give and take where you may have previously been doing all the giving and someone was doing all the taking possibly the synergy around here it's now coming back into balance equal give and take here when it comes to somebody significant when it comes to commitment and if it's meant to be it will be that world has your back love this Pisces so let's finish with what the universe says 
Temperance reversed, Six of Wands upright, Ace of Cups reversed. Feeling like sometimes you are coming to a grinding halt, a roadblock of some sort, and the energy is not able to keep flowing through. And it feels like you missed this, some opportunity when it came to a new chapter of love because things weren't, um, or things were starting to bank up because that flow was not able to continue moving forward. And saying that, you've come upright with the Six of Wands victory. That world is your final clarification outcome there. Uh, this love here may not have meant to have been, whether it's this negative um, energy over here, but leads to this next energy up here. But um, that Six of Wands is ultimately in the background saying this is actually a victory. May have been dealing with Sagittarius, but um, that moment may not have been right there. So that's what I have, Pisces. Do hope it helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.